All right, welcome in everybody. Hello, hello. Let's see where we go. Uh, I'm going to be doing a live today for the Aquarius full moon. That energy is really loud for me. It's August 1st, so rabbit, rabbit, let's see where we go. I know, seriously. <laughs> rabbit, rabbit. So I have a couple of other Aquarius full moon readings. I'm just going to put a little link here to those. Uh, I did one for Sunday night. It just came out so loud. And I, I really want to um, share those with you. And oh, there's a bunch of stuff on screen here. What's ever the winner, whatever. Um, so let's see what's happening this morning. Um, on Thursday, I'm going to do one of those Pathfinder personals. So if you have um, issues that you that are in immediate need of attention, uh, I limit it to 12 people so we can be very, very um, focused on each one of your questions. So there's a link in the description box below if you want to jump onto that. Next week on 8-8 Lionsgate, Jen Huber and I will be conducting a workshop about anchoring your intentions in manifestation energy, clearing anything that's in the way. Okay, so jump onto that. There's also a link in the description box below. So let's see where we go. All right, grace and gratitude. I was feeling this walking around the neighborhood this morning. Um, I did some videos outside recently and it was just so uplifting and such beautiful air. Super grateful for that. Uh, ascending the mountain, keep going forward and staying focused, hold the course. So a little bit of energy coming through here today about grounding yourself and sticking with the path. Now, some of you have reached out to me recently and been like, how are, how do I know when things are working? How do I know when I'm actually manifesting? How do I know? How do I know? How do I know? When you say the words, how do I know? That is your ego mind trying to keep you safe from disappointment, okay? So when you are in an inner knowing, when you're in your high priestess energy, when you're in that space, uh, doing the work, doing the work of setting the intention and clearing the way and being in grace and gratitude and focusing on taking action afterwards. So writing down your intention, meditating on your intention and putting actions in place the next day and the day after that and the day after that, that's how you inner know, right? Like you're just like, I'm working on it. I'm not doing anything that's not in alignment with my path or my mission or my intention or however those things go together for you. All right, so let's see where we go here. Gonna be doing some things a little bit differently. Gonna be doing some lives, maybe uh, pick a card, maybe uh, some air, fire, earth, water energy this week. Last week, I did all of the August readings. Here you go, there's the list. All right, wheel of fortune underneath. Things have changed, things have progressed, things are moving forward. So I'm gonna lay this all out and then we'll talk about it. I like to talk a little bit as the cards are coming out, two of swords, world, strength, the Aries energy, oh, look who we have here. Okay, the high priestess there, that's kind of awesome. All right, so we'll look at that in a second. Aries, Leo, Sag, all the fire signs are showing up here as well as Cancer. So there's something about our passion, our heart's desire, what we want to create in our lives and not letting this is kind of a Lil card in, in light of all these other major Arcana cards. This is sort of like, I just, uh, my self-confidence is gone. Or I'm feeling like people are saying to me, are you sure you know what you're doing? Like there's something coming from external. So if you're looking to external resources to validate you on making changes, making choices, being bold, moving out of a rut you've been in or something like that, no one's really going to support that. OK, and I know you have people who love you and all of that kind of stuff. And like, why don't they do it? If you do something that's extraordinary, other people then automatically compare themselves and go, I'm not doing anything. Oh, my gosh. Look at that person. They're moving on. They're moving up. They're doing what they want. They're living that life. They're being 
who they are and I am not doing that and then they get negative with you. So if people are doing that with you right now, I want you to just stick a little red flag in their head, in their head, in their hat, in their cap and be like, I see you. That's their mind trying to keep them safe. Um, working or doing anything, loving, working, being, expressing outside of the box is something that the ego and the mind don't like. You're hardwired against creating something new because it's a risk. You're hardwired. So this is why it's so hard to get you outside of that box or get you moving in certain directions, even though you want to do it. Like, okay, I'm setting intentions like a mad woman. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm working my program. I'm doing whatever I'm doing, but yet still I fall back into it. And it's because you have been hardwired. You also have created some habits. All of us do to keep us safe, to keep us from uh, the idea. So if you, if you extend yourself, you put yourself out there on YouTube. You put yourself out there as a business. You put yourself out there as I want this job. I want this love of my life. I want this. There's a chance of disappointment, right? Otherwise it wouldn't be a risk. So there's like a natural, especially if you had a mother like mine who had lived through some very challenging um, chapters in her life, what she didn't want for me was disappointment. And she might have lived through a lot of disappointment, which I believe she did, and didn't want that for me, which is in itself a loving gesture, but is not a progressive or an expansive gesture, right? It's like, you know, we do things like don't put your hand on the stove because you're going to get burned. And that is real. Okay. <laughs> That's real. Like, oh, we don't do that. But I feel like sometimes you see expanding or going after what you want or putting that out there in the universe as an intention as the same thing as sticking your hand on that stove. Like the ego sees it the same way. It's, it's something that it might be unknown or it might be something that hurts or it might be something that's a disappointment or whatever. True. But if you are changing your wiring, it takes time to do that. It takes effort and time to turn the ship. You're a ship, okay? Now in this analogy, you're a ship. You're, you're a ship. It takes time to turn that ship to a place where it's, it's rote behavior that I go for risk or it's rote behavior. And then you're going to need to go further than that, right? Once you get it all wired in, like, yes, I'm an innovator. I'm, uh, I take risks. I'm because of a purpose. I have a purpose. I have a calling. It's a risk. You better believe it is. I don't know what to tell you. Part and parcel of being human is for us to expand, is for us to go toward our calling, is for us to remember our gifts from past lives, is for us to help other people, and for us to really help ourselves at the same time, for us to learn how to do healing work, for us to hold space for other people, for us to do that work for ourselves. All of that is risky. There's plenty of people on this planet who are just like, just settle down, just stay put. Why do you have to always go out there and do stuff? If you hear that, that is someone who is regretting not doing it or someone who is jealous that you're doing it or someone who's saying to themselves, holy cow, if you go out and do it, then yeesh, I'm going to have to do it. And that's scary because it's a risk. Okay. So three of pentacles. I love it. Knight of cups, seven of wands, the six of cups, the ace of wands, and the magician tower, nine of swords, five of pentacles, five of wands. We're going to clarify that in a second here. Now, what I'm seeing here is essentially something being offered to you right now. This is August 1st that we're doing this. I'm gonna set up um, uh, from this 
piece on August 1st, my live, I'm going to set the intention that we do things every single day that reach us, that reach us, that help us reach for what we want to create. Okay. And that's manifesting energy. Just like when you were a kid and you were creative and you would do some crazy stuff as a kid. I feel like now that is something that's going to be a more consistent, a consistent uh, partner or a consistent, um, energy around you. Some of you have a potential uh, for learning or growing with a partner or something like that. This three of pentacles coming in, the knight of cups. There's a feeling of help, help, help. Really? Is this the right person? Okay. So some of you could have a new partner coming in or a new energy coming in. I feel like it has to do with, with doing what you love. This person can be very, um, uh, learned or connected, right? We're definitely, I'm going to talk through this in a second here. It reminds you of what you were excited about as a kid. And that's doing two things. First of all, it's triggering that, oh, wow, I'm excited. I want to take a risk. And then there's the, ah, should I? Oh, I don't know. Right. If you talk yourself down off that, off that high dive, right? If you talk yourself down off the high dive and you know the feeling of that, because I remember when I was a kid and, and uh, my cousin belonged to a pool and every summer I would go, or most summers I would go. And I, there was plenty of times when I walked back down off that high dive. And when I do it, the feeling is like such disappointment. I'm like so disappointed in myself that I'm not willing to take that risk. And even though it's very, pool's beautiful, can see, it's 10 feet or 12 feet deep. I can see exactly what I'm doing. I don't have to do any kind of crazy stunt or anything like that. It's just a jump. And once you do it a couple times, my cousin would go up and jump and she would go up and jump and then she would dive and then she would dive and then she would do other stuff. And it was just like a progression. Like the more used to you get to putting yourself in a situation, the thrill of it is part and parcel of it. The, the thrill is kind of like a fear, right? It's like, it's a little bit of fear coming out as like, a, ooh, I'm gonna go for it, oh my God, right? Like there's that little sense of that and that is extraordinary. And I feel like there is something coming that is going to be a risk for you, um, but it's like, bring your child's mind to it, bring that really beautiful energy of childhood to it. And that feels really good. This, on the other hand, Tower, Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles. This is um, your ego, okay? So it kind of breaks through like, oh my gosh, should I really be doing this? And this is coming also from other people. Uh, I feel like you might have some pushback. So if you step outside of the lines, if you do things that are definitely on your path, okay? They're pushing you forward. Other people are like, really? Do you want to do that? That seems like a risk to me. And your job here is to kind of close that up and break through that chain of small thinking, break through the chain of lack of progress. Because the more you kind of just go around and around and around and you do things that are safe, the more boring it gets, the more uh, bored you get, the less... Um, the less inspired you are, the less inspiring you are. So this is about taking a risk, taking a bold risk. North Node in Aries right now for the next 18 months is going to push us to take bold risks. The way to do this is not to look to outside um, sources of strength or resistance. Don't look to what other people are saying about this. What I want you to do is learn to hear what your guides are saying about this. What is going on with your connection to spirit? That's where self-confidence comes from. When you are in your intuition and you get this like hit about doing something and you go for it and you learn something. I'm not gonna say that every single thing you do is gonna be overwhelmingly successful, but there's something here to learn the three of pentacles. And there's something here about, oh my God, I'm so scared. Uh, uh, uh. 
I'm going to stop doing what I, you know, I start out to do it and then I stop and I'm worried and I'm nervous and I'm scared and lack of self-confidence and drain and drain and drain. So that all comes in. So I'm going to clarify the three of pentacles here. The eight of pentacles, the four of swords, the queen of wands, the king of pentacles, the page of wands and the 10 of wands. So what we're doing here, this does seem to be like your work. It can be about like your uh, what you're putting into the world as work or as your gifts. Let's call it gifts, shall we? Um, your gifts, your um, because Knight of Cups, you're looking into the gift, right? You're seeing that gift there. And you might be working with other people who are also excited, who are also expansive. And I just feel a little bit like what you're doing here is you're learning to heal and recognize the difference between do this, don't do that, go in this direction. That's something that you should maybe, if you're wanting to expand, if you're wanting to grow, if you're wanting to build a business, if you're wanting to build a legacy, if you're wanting to do something out in the world that is a risk and anything, let's face it, anything after getting up out of bed, even getting up out of bed is a risk, okay? Thank you for being here today, for clicking on videos. Thank you for being curious enough to support your own path and mission in this life. Thank you for being curious enough to do that. I feel like there's some kind of healing that's going on. This passion that's coming through is to be a healer or is to step in that direction with passion and with self-confidence, the king of pentacles, okay? The king of pentacles. I feel like this is something that's going to drive uh, money, financial security, right? But but being inspired and then doing it all by yourself, I don't think so. I think what is being asked of you here is if you really want to get to the next level, this is about partnership. And then you got, and then let's talk about clarifying the tower the nine of swords and the five of pentacles. There's so much worry here about loss. And so the tower, five of swords, the king of wands, the two of wands, justice, hierophant, and the queen of swords. So I feel like some of you are getting better at knowing who to partner with and who not to partner with. I feel like you are the king of wands here the Aries energy here, the dynamic energy of the Ace of Wands. You are the one who's able to do that. I feel like you could be dealing with an air sign and an earth sign. I feel like you just have to make good choices. Five of Swords. I feel like you also have had a lot of people in the past trying to get the better of you, or you're very optimistic. I mean, I'm a Sag, so I can get this, that like, oh, I, I just, I see everybody in me. I see that you know, you can do it. Like, I really want to help people do what they want to do. And that's part of the reason for this channel is to help people do what they want to do. But I'm here as a messenger and a healer and a teacher and a guide. I am here to sort of share messages and then you take them and do stuff with them. Okay. That's based on your own resonance. And which is why we say, a lot of us say, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Well, do you know what resonates? Do you know the difference between resonance and fear? Do you know the difference between a message that's coming through to you and one that's saying, hey, lady, stop doing that. Do you know the difference? Oh, who's that? Like, <laughs> do you know the difference here? I feel like there is um, something about being grounded and being passionate at the same time making a plan, Taurus energy here, uh, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Gemini here again, like being able to be that messenger, being able to see clearly, Queen of Swords, Magician, and not letting this get the better of you. The Five of Swords here says, these are triggers from the past. Some of you are or have dealt with a lot of people or you feel like you're easily manipulated or that you're somebody who gets duped a lot by people and that makes you afraid to deal with anybody else, right? Like some of you have had narcissistic partners, so you're terrified about choosing another narcissist. I totally can get that. Okay. So what's this? Here, let's do this. Um, I'm going to use this little guy here. 
the Sears, the Light Sears Tarot. This is making me feel good this morning. The Light Sears Tarot. Let's use this about tower. I'm just going to clarify them one at a time. What's the tower? Ace of Cups. New opportunity, new offer coming in, new making yourself available here. And the new offer comes in. It's big. It's big. It's big. It's a big risk strength. This is in Leo time period, right? This is in Leo time period. Five of pentacles. Empress, are you noticing a theme here? I am. I am. Hold on, I'll tell you. The five of swords. Three of swords. Yep. And the five of wands. Queen of cups. So some of you, the, the theme I'm noticing here is a divine feminine theme here of being able to be present and being able to express oneself through one's heart without the fear of it being stabbed and broken in half. If you can't get to that place, if you can't say, you know what, what, you know, like I'll give you an example. When I started this channel, if you can't get to the place of saying, fuck it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And I'm doing it not in a, in a, um, irrational or a, you know, triggered kind of way I'm doing it. Cause I feel passion. I'm doing it as reciprocity to the universe like the gifts are coming in i'm birthing something new i'm here to bring it to the world and there is a possibility three of swords there is no such thing as doing something that matters without risk there is no such thing if something really matters to you there's a risk that you won't get it that it'll suck that'll send you down a path that you don't want to be on. Okay. That your mind is saying, no, I can't have that lesson now. No, I can't do this is about risk and it is risky to give birth. It is risky to bring something out into the world. That's new. It is risky to put yourself out there in love. There's no such thing as success without risk, love without risk, happiness without risk. So that's what's being said here is that yup, could fall apart. Yup, you could get your heart broken. Yes, that's right. You still in? And if you're like, listen, this is my passion. This is what I'm here to do then God bless you because that's part of the human condition. That's part of it. So when you risk everything, so when I, I started to say, when I did start this channel, that's exactly how I felt. I was like, F it. I'm going to do what I want to do. I've tried all y'all's plans and, and this is what I should be doing. And this is the path that y'all wanted me to take. It never worked for me. Never. I learned stuff, but over time, like it was like, okay, I just got boring. Okay. I, all right. I learned what I need to learn. Okay. So there's a similar thing going on right now with the channel about expanding into new territory. You heard me talk about Jen Huber a lot, expanding into new healing territory, expanding into new kinds of readings, expanding, expanding, expanding. YouTube wants to keep you in this box. There's 12 zodiac signs, stay there. That's what YouTube wants you to do. And that's how it's been rewarded. But you'll notice this morning message every day, Monday through Friday, that's my calling, that's my path. And it's expanding. And I'm right here with you on this Leo, in this Leo time. So let's do it together. What shall we say? Okay. What say you? 
Are you here to expand into your gifts and take risks and learn? Either you win or you learn or both. What's the Neville Goddard? Isn't it wonderful? Whatever happens, isn't it wonderful? That is the gift of, I believe a lot of you are Sagittarians. That is really the gift of that Sagittarius energy of being so optimistic is to be able to see everything through that lens. Isn't it wonderful? So let's continue. I'm gonna go deeper into this reading. If this is your reading, there's a link below, Pathfinders. We're just gonna keep going. Let's keep going. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.